Over here. This rock moves. Uh oh, they found the secret passage. And there are stairs underneath. Hey everyone, it's been a bit, but welcome back to our playthrough of Shining Force CD. We just had arrived on the Isle of Escrete. We encountered some Cypress soldiers, and we have found a town where we are believe the resistance lives, and we are hoping to get into the town because I think the Cypress soldiers are attacking the resistance. Now, there's a lot of I thinks in there, and there's a reason for that. It's been it's been too long since we've turned this game on. So long that I booted up my old my last playthrough to even try to figure out where the heck we are in the story. So we're about to exit here and dive in to our next battle. But before we do that, I feel like I should point out the Christmas haul that I have gotten. My wife, my partner, purchased me the Shining Force 3 scenarios 1, 2, and 3 on the Sega Saturn. I've been so busy I haven't even had time to open the package, but I'm excited to go through it. If we ever do a Shining Force CD review, maybe there'll be some video of me going through this stuff. Who knows? But let's go and see what's next in this big world. Is this the first time we have been fighting in a town in this game? Because we fought on a ship, we fought on the beach, we fought on the field, we fought in an atoll or a military base. I think this is the first time we have seen buildings, and these buildings are clearly built off the Shining Force 2 models. Why did you kill them? We did nothing to harm you. You know too much about our secret plans. We can't allow you to live. Oh no, bur bur wow. That poor guy, he burnt and he's been... These guys are jerks. Oh, they have dragons. Where is Mayfair? She must be here. Find her and kill her. No, that's a bat. That's not a dragon. Thank God. Look, sir. Who is Mayfair? A rock. Like the one Zinc hit under. Over here. This rock moves. Uh-oh. They found the secret passage. And there are stairs underneath. Boom! Stop right there. I don't know who that is, but they look disgruntled. Huggy's in the parking lot. She looks disgruntled. Go ahead, peasant. Try to stop us. You're vastly outnumbered, you know. Your eminence, strangers approach. Uh-oh. There we are. So is this guy gonna help at all? That is the shining force. Seize them all. Oh, well, look, we got the whole big force out here ready to deal some damage. You won't take us without a fight. Nick, are you ready? All right, let's take a, a, a view of this map. We have some dark mages who only have one cast of Blaze 2, as we remember as we've been worried about them killing us. So we have a Skaven and a dark mage down here. Uh, we got a whole thwack of bats. That's what they're called. When you have a group of bats, they are called a thwack. A thwack of bats. Uh, hell soldiers. Hell soldiers were new in the last battle, I believe. Ratman. Dark mage. I don't think there's anything too scary and too oppressive on this map. So, here's what we're going to do. In... It's been so long since we played this game. We're going to try to figure out if we're going to want to go up or go down. We'll, we'll, we will push ahead under the assumption that these guys are going to come up here to meet us and they're not going to stay down there. It has been so long since I have played this game that over Christmas break, I know we just mentioned that I got uh, Shining Force 3, but I also received, after about a month and a half of waiting, the... Super Mario RPG on the Switch, the remake, and it's a short game, so it's not. I'm not sitting here to go, oh, it's impressive, I beat this in the, 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 the time between last recording, but it's just to let you know, I beat it in the time since last recording, and as much as I'd love to have time to write up a review on it and put stuff together, and, and mind you, I am doing that at some point, not to review so much, but putting some stuff together, um... 
I figure, hey, let's share our thoughts on the Super Mario RPG remake. So, the one thing about the remake that I think needs to be pointed out real quickly, I think we're going to take Roos down here and he'll just deal with these people. The one thing that needs to be pointed out about the remake very quickly is it's incredibly, incredibly faithful to the original Super Nintendo game. Um, and, and that's what I want in a remake. That's what I want in Remake. I want the game remade with new graphics. Essentially, don't change the playstyle. Um, yeah, I know, dumb. We're dumb for setting ourselves up like that. But also, we've pulled them. We'll deal with this. Um, but it's 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 weird. Um, so the original graphical style, original graphic, the original. No, we don't want you with your spear. We want you with your lance. The original graphics of Super Mario RPG were like the weird retro Donkey Kong Country 3D, I think it's like ISO, I don't know, ISO something, um, graphics. And the upgrade to the cutesy and the proper graphics, I wouldn't want them made in a different way, uh, but the upgrade to the graphics on the Switch, oh my god, that'll be you just, I, I, hey, how about we don't do review? No, we were gonna multitask, but just leaving ourselves open. The upgrade to the Switch graphics, like, it's almost like I turn the game on and it feels like it hasn't been remade in a sense. Um, given that the graphic upgrade was just basically a smoothing of it, it, it almost feels like the remake, um, sort of, it, it could have been a Wii remake and looked exactly the same as the Switch remake. So, that'll be... That will be our first complaint. Um, but you have to say, like, I love how faithful it is, and while it doesn't add to the story, the, the little tiny changes that they do put in are... are welcome. Like, I know... When I first saw the game come out and the there was that gauge on the side. Um have we hit this dark mage? Have we hit this dark mage? There was that gauge on the side that showed like over time if you land successful attacks, that's gonna fill up. Good. Let's get Shade a level here. Hey you got a medical herb, that's not bad. Like, oh, beautiful. Level 9. We're going to find out soon if it's a level 10 or a level 20 promotion. But given how short this game must actually be, um, we got to have level 10 promotions going on here. But I was really worried about the gauge and some of the changes to the combat system that was being made. Um, because I'm like... Those changes will change the way the game plays and it does to a small degree but it'll make an even like a, a game that's already easy easier um and it certainly does but also eh, as much as i want to you know complain about that ooh, roost is level 10 that's a promotion baby um as much as i want to complain about that it's that the game was already easy and the sort of triple techs that have been added to the game which, uh, the triple techs are, um, the thing you can do when your gauge fills up. Um, they're not... They're not powerful enough to be game-breaking. Heck, I, I could almost make a point to say they're not powerful enough to, at times, have you even waste your turn on them. Which isn't true. They're, they are helpful, but they're nice, they're... They're little fully animated 3D attacks, which is awesome because it adds some character. You get to see Gino doing some new stuff. Um, and that comes, that's gonna, you know, what is my favorite aspect of the remake? Um, it's seeing a lot of the story scenes just better animated and more fleshed out as we go through them. Like, I mean, for instance, you know, spoilers for a 30-year-old game, like when Melo first shows up, 
we get like in the old game you get you know just uh any rpg you get the scene animated in the world map and it's a nice scene with the rain and everything but it's really cool to see that fully rendered in 3d um and that's that's the thing that's really cool seeing that fully rendered in 3d seeing gino come alive just seeing a lot of things that happen in the game fully rendered in 3d so you get to enjoy them a bit more and like i said i was worried that the triple attacks would make the game easier and you know they do but not to a ridiculously overwhelming degree like it's an easy game made easier but it's an easy game um and the i guess the one there's two other big changes there's like i'm still working through some of the post game content and it does look like a little more post game content has been added we're going to top nick up so we don't forget and lose our force um and it's always nice to have a little bit more content i i don't know how long that's going to last so i don't want to get over it too much um and the other change which makes the game easier is doing the triple attacks or sorry um the the change to combat is you can switch characters in and out in battle and while that does make the game easier i feel like it opens it up more to use other characters um because previously when you couldn't switch your characters up uh by the end game my party consisted pretty much of does anyone need heals that we've forgotten pretty much consisted of Mario, Bowser, and Peach. And Peach never came out of your party because Peach is by far and away the best healer. Um, to to a, a, a broken degree within the game. And I know some of you are saying you have Bowser in your party and not Geno because Geno's better than Bowser. And that's true, but I am a Bowser mark. Um, the, the, the ability to be able to play as him especially in the first game sort of like it's mind blo it's not mind blowing that's 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 too big of a thing but it's it's really cool to see Bowser be a good guy and that's that's lost in the remake um but that's kind of why he's always in my power pa party I'm a creature of habit but one of the nice things about having it so your party can be switched up let's take a look at the map here uh we have these bats yeah, uh, we have yet to have a challenge from Shining Force CD. Uh, all these battles have been pretty easy so far. Um, the nice thing about switching characters is it allowed me to use Melo and Gino so much more because I could switch Toadstool out and bring Gino into attack, or I could switch Bowser out and let Melo do some things, or scan to get the, the the thoughts and it's it's cool there's a well melo has a scan ability and it lets lets people lets you read people's thoughts good for you apis um and just a, a quality of life thing there is there's now the option that that gets stored there's a lot of tiny things you can go back and look at but using three characters allows me or really allowed me to get to experience a lot of the characters more um so that's excellent so i think that is my long and short story about super mario rpg and now that that's taken care of we're gonna focus on finishing up this battle and paying attention to what's going on because you got to remember every battle gets a battle mvp and if i'm not paying attention like i can't tell you who i can't tell you right now who the mvp of this battle is um, right now, right now, oh, you know what, if Shade took him down, I was going to say Shade is leading the way, but none of these monks really have anything to do. I, I, I wish we could be more in love with the monks, but we're going to get Apis. Well, Apis isn't going to level up, but he's, he's out here trying to catch up to the rest of the team. Yeah, even like the the battle backgrounds, we were sitting here talking about the town art looking very Shining Force 2-ish. Um, 
the battle art, like the, the hey, you're fighting in town art, that is directly lifted from Shining Force 2, I believe, as well. Um, we just have these six bats to clean up. We're going to inch closer. Hopefully we can get Cray and... Um, Cray and the other, I can't even remember his name, Gong thing. Hopefully we can get them involved in a battle. Because uh, they're going to need to get built up here. I can't just be building up my battle users continually. We got to make a focus on the other people. Okay, that's going to pull them out because I put Sig way too close. Let's see how much damage Sig takes. Ooh, five. Don't fall asleep, Sig. Good. Good. We do not need you falling asleep. Well, you're also level seven, Cray. Like, guys, you got to come out here swinging. Oh, seven damage is not... Is not... Okay, you know what? That's good. Attack by two. No spells. But that's a level you're equal with Sig in the Master Monk battle off. That's right, go to Nick. Nick's got good defense. Just don't fall asleep. We don't need to fall asleep. No time for naps. Wake up, pretty cat. This is no time to do a sweep. Oh, you're spreading the damage around. And that makes sense, you know, if you can get in there and attack those mages, you take down those squishy mages. In the inevitable... <laughs> I know last last video we pretty much focused on movie review time and i can tell you there's not a lot of new 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 movie review time out there on the plate um well i have watched a whole bunch of stuff nothing is coming to mind and christmas was basically a spend time with the family period but i do have to say last night i tried to watch the original oh nice got some protect milk is that going to get you a level? No, it's not. Watch the original... Attack of the Killer Tomatoes! Attack, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes! Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? As we put Roos there... Alright, so... Wendy needs a heal. You have full MP, Thig. That's your job. Heal Wendy up. I did watch the 73 or 77. For the first time, I watched Attack of Killer Tomatoes. And I'm only halfway through it, but I have to say so far, I am incredibly, incredibly disappointed in it. Um, which surprises me because the comedy, quote, comedy, horror, crazy stuff, like that's what I'm into. And I just like, it's too, it feels too Mel Brooks-ish, Mel Brooks-ish, Mel Brooks um, it just, it, it feels like it's trying too hard with, um, it's jokes which aren't about tomatoes attacking people, might be the best way to put it, when it's focusing on the premise, which is these really <laughs> dumb tomatoes killing people that are just, they're not animated, they're just like, a tomato and them attacking people and people selling it that premise is is really good it's like all the weird like dr strange love ish comedy and setup around the setup that's really dragging it down um it's like i mean it's best way to put it is I saw it described as a horror comedy and it's much more of a comedy than it is a horror comedy um and the comedy just really isn't landing for me um sort of unfortunately because I've had we've had a really good run of movies that I am watching for the first time and just loving the crap out of them you only have heal I mean you have a power stick so that's probably somewhat frightening, but not too frightening. So, we're getting down to the end of the battle here. And it's becoming time to name that MVP. And 
just like the last few battles, no one is standing out. All right, let's let's look at this logically. It's not Roos, and it's not Apis, and it's not these silly master monks. Um, I don't think it's Wendy. Wendy hasn't done enough yet. Um, ah, Apis is gonna end up gaining two levels here and putting in work. Um. So it could be Apis. Um, if Shade can have a strong finish, I think it's going to be him. I think Nick has been too uninvolved by this point to really come out swinging and say you're great, but that's cool. We got another level 10. Now, I know there's, there's always the eternal debate of when do you promote um some people say hey oh you can't even do anything excellent good let me farm that experience some people say hey you you know shining force one don't promote until level 15 or don't promote until level 20 and shining force two it'll be don't promote until level 40 and i feel like that has merit but I also feel like that's not playing the game the way it was designed. Don't you kill this guy. The way it was designed. Oh, the brass. Wow, that's a loaded attack right there. Um, I'm not playing the game the way it was designed. Oh, poor Shade. You might lose your MVP status right now just because you can't get this kill, which is silly. But that might be what causes you. So I think I'm going to promote people sort of as soon as I can at the moment. Uh, so level 10 promotions. Do you have Blaze 2? You do have Blaze 2. Oh, Wendy. Are you going to come in here and steal this MVP from Shade? It's quite possible that if you come down here with a big Blaze 2 and this preach for all oh, this priest did not fall. It would look like Wendy might steal it right there at the end with those two kills. And you know, a smart person, a dedicated person, a person who cared about accuracy might watch this and go, Hey, I, I, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna try to leave this kill for Cray or Sig. Might watch us and go, hey, if you're trying to name MVPs, why don't you pay attention? Why don't you stop talking about silly things? Count the kills that happen. And to that I say, you're right, but also, I'm silly. And at the end of the day, we're going to name our MVP for that battle. And our MVP is... It's going to be Shade. I don't know if he earned it. He might not have. But that's just how my gut feels. Look, there goes a villager. Let's talk to him. Is that also the centaur? It is. Is that the... Yeah, okay. I was going to say, it doesn't look like he has the same hair color, but it was the hat that was throwing me off. Thanks, Claude. You arrived just in time. Woodle's goons are about to wreck the whole town. By the way, I'm Stock. Hello, Stock. Hey, Mayfair. Over here. Who's Mayfair? Are you a healer? Is it another healer? I... Uh, Another healer, another blue-haired healer. I'm Mayfair, a healer. My father was Archbishop of Cyprus before Woodle took over. I can't see, but I can use, I can heal and use magic. Allow me to come with you. Woodle killed her father and blinded her. She barely escaped. She killed my family too. There's nothing left for me here. I'd like to come with you if you'll let me. Ooh, the force joins. Oh, Stock is a ranger. Okay, the force has grown by two members. We picked up a ranger which is basically a Sendhar with an arrow, and a Priest, which is going to give us three healers, and um, I'm really worried that's not going to give us enough healing to go around. I'm never really big into Rangers either, so these two recruits might be a little silly and might, I, I might not be into them. We can rest at the church tonight and leave at sunrise. 
Are you going to give me a town to explore? No, I'm just going to get a camp to explore. Alright, so... We are prepared for battle, but we just recruited some people, right? So, let's talk to our new force, force members. Oh man, you're level 4? Wow, that's really low, buddy. I mean, your... Your shade is who your... Eh, you know what? You're only 4 attack points lower than shade. You might be worth building up. Uh, but what's up, stock? I must avenge my friends. Alright, you do have a movement of 6, which is likely better than Shades 5, so there might be a place for you, because I always do like my horse archers. And we have Mayfair, who's a level 5 priest, knows Heal 2 and Muddle. Who knows, who knows if Muddle is working in this one or not, but I've always liked to not rely on chances. What do you got to say, Mayfair? Let me go with you, please. Alright, folks, I think that's everything for today. We will... Are we going to save our promotions? Yeah, we're going to save our promotions until the start of the next vid video. I gotta admit, I struggled through this one a bit. It's been a bit of a struggle the last little bit, but I'm glad to have gotten through it. Thanks for being with me. Bye. Hey, it's me, the guy who played the game. Thanks for watching and making it to the end. I don't like to beg for likes and subscribes, but they do make me feel nicer. So, make me feel nice. Or don't. There. Contractual YouTube obligations fulfilled.